Okay, so what we're looking at here is we're looking at time. Time is one of the primary measurements in science, and we use the second to actually do these measurements. Uh, using the seconds, we can actually convert to minutes, hours, days, months, years, and but we always are going to start with the seconds. We can convert back and forth if necessary, but the second is going to be our primary focus. Um, in physics, many of the actions and calculations rely on this time, so we need to be able to calculate how much time has passed. Well, we know if we have the total time of something, we can sit there and we can time it, but what if we don't have a stopwatch available? That's where this equation comes into play. The equation is very simple. We start with a delta, because as we all know, delta is basically the change. It's a symbol for change, and it's going to be delta t. Okay, so the change in time is equal to t sub f. Now, if you look down here, I, you see that I've defined that t sub f is the final time. You need to keep that in mind and always make sure that you are always, always, always defining your, your variables because otherwise you'll come back and you won't recognize anything and you won't know what letters mean what and it will just be very confusing for you. So to, fa to figure out the, um, the delta t, you need to take the final time and you need to subtract t sub i, which as you notice down here is my initial time and that's how you figure out the change in time. Now, let's do a couple of practices. These are the practices that you have in your, in your notes. So we're just going to do a couple right here, and then you can do the rest on your own. Keep in mind, for E, though, you are going to have to convert from seconds to minutes, and that's going to uh, alter how you do this. It's going to be a few more steps, but that one is a little bit more advanced, so make sure you do that one properly. So. We're going to look first, we're going to look over up here at this first one. So, our initial time is going to be... Okay, so let's look at the first one. <clears throat> the first one you have your final time of 32 seconds and your initial time of 7 seconds. So, we know the first thing we're going to do is... So we want to figure out the change in time, which is that delta t. Now delta t is equal to, so the change in time is equal to the final time minus the initial time, as we just calculated right there. And so then all we have to do is plug the numbers in. So our final time right here, our final time is uh, right over here, 32 seconds. So we're going to take 32 seconds minus our initial time, which is going to be 7 seconds. Do the math there, and you get 25 seconds. Now, please, 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 I cannot stress this enough, do not forget your units, okay? So, that's how you figure out change in time. Do the rest on your own in your notes. Uh, make sure you understand how to do this. If you have any questions, make sure you ask.